been like a week since I last made a video. Unlike me, I know usually I like to crank up videos every two days or every day even. Hey Ricky, how's it going? It's a bit camera shy right now, so just bear with him. Oh Rick, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? What do you spend all day thinking about, huh? That's Ricky. So I'm staying at my buddy Trev's house for a while. Not sure how long. Just had to uh, get out of the other place I was staying just to create a more productive work environment for myself. The other place I was staying was great. It was my mom's house, but my mom's retired, so she's always home. And it's just like, I'm young. I like my space. Trev's out at work right now, so I get the whole house to myself. Um, he eats primarily raw vegan as well. Pretty much raw breakfast and raw lunch and then cooked dinner. But he's nowhere near as strict as me. But he's definitely vegan. He became vegan a couple years ago. So you guys will meet him in future videos, I'm sure. But uh, got some fruit stocked up here. Eating lots of persimmons these days. Bananas, apples, uh, some almonds, and some walnuts. Some more bananas and avocados. And then some... Uh, sunflower seeds, raw sunflower seeds, and then right here we got the uh, tomatoes. So that's what's crack a lacking. Now, normally, I don't eat nuts or seeds, normally, I stay away from them, but it's getting real cold here, and this is my first winter back home in a while. And uh, I'm trying to gain some weight this winter, I think it'll be a lot easier to. Uh, Keep warm if I get some fat on me. So I am eating lots of avocados, but sometimes the avocados just don't ripen up in time. But when the avocados are ripe and good, I'll eat lots of them. It's good to keep a lot in stock. It's good to have unripe avocados in stock, ripe avocados in stock, and then even frozen avocados keep in the freezer. That way you can blend them up and uh, make sauces with them. But when I first moved in here to Trev's house, uh, there wasn't any uh, ripe avocados. We bought a whole bunch, as you can see here, and now they're finally starting to ripen up. But over the past few days, I've been just chowing down on some uh, nuts and seeds, which they don't digest anywhere near as well as avocados. If something can rub right into your skin, like take take an avocado, rub it into your skin, does it rub in? Yes, it does. Take a banana, rub it into your skin, does it rub in? Yes, it does. It's going to digest so much easier than something that doesn't digest, like hard walnuts or almonds or something like that. But uh, I'm glad I have access to quality fruit anyway because uh, I'm absolutely loving these persimmons, man. People say you can eat these persimmons hard, and it's true, you can eat these persimmons hard. Some people like them even a bit crunchy, but if I want something crunchy, I'm gonna go for like a crunchy apple. If I want a truly ripe persimmon, I'm gonna wait for it to ripen up a bit. It'll be so much nicer once it's ripe, once it's soft and gooey. So yeah, you can eat them crunchy, but you're better off letting them ripen up. Now that's this kind of persimmon. This is the Fuyu persimmon. These can be eaten crunchy. But the Hachia, the cone-shaped ones, you don't want to eat those crunchy. You, I mean, you try it once and you'll never do it again in your life. Those need to be unbelievably goopy. Those need to be like ready for the compost when you're going to eat them at their optimal time. So keep that in mind. Let the Hachia ripen up. Um, we just got this Amazon Prime delivery right here. Got a brand new Vitamix for like 400 bucks. We split it 200 bucks each. I absolutely love the Vitamix. If you want the, uh, the exact same Vitamix I just bought right here, check the link in the description and I'll hook you up with the exact same one. And then uh, these dates are not being soaked right now in water because I already have some in the fridge that are being soaked in water. Always have dates soaked. See that water right there? That water is going to be so, so sweet, man. Very, very sweet water. Pour the water in the smoothie and then uh, the dates are gonna blend up so much nicer and digest so much nicer. Uh, what I have I been working on since I've been hanging out here? I've been working on creating a new studio in here. It's gonna be a photo video studio, so come check it out. I'll give you the, the tour. Not much of a tour, but it's something. So here it is. We've got a ring light and two soft boxes and a tripod here going right in between. So we're gonna be creating some awesome high quality videos coming soon. These ring lights just turn on, or soft box lights turn on nicely. Seamless paper backdrop. With, they have these lines in them right now. You guys can see those little ripples. If you have any tips on how to get rid of those ripples, let me know. I'm uh, not sure. This is just the paper material. It's not like I can just iron it out. It's not cotton or anything. 
But uh, yeah, you can clearly see the ripples, which I do not like. Apparently there's ways of like blasting it with like super hard light and you don't see them anymore. But for the most part, um, I'm seeing them. Check out that lighting, huh? It's pretty good. Camera goes right there. Ooh, that's nice, baby, that's nice. That looks good, doesn't it? I think so. So we'll set this up on a tripod, tripod soon and get some cool videos coming for you. But uh, that's, that's the start of the studio, man. That's the start of the studio. It's been a uh, visualization. It's been a vision of mine for a while. My talk about holding the vision. Find out what you want in life and hold the vision. This studio has been a vision of mine for a while. I've wanted to convert part of a house into a studio and uh, couldn't do it at my mom's place and I didn't have a place of my own just yet. But um, now that I'm moving in here, I'm gonna start paying half the rent. Uh, this house will be like pretty much half mine. I can create a whole studio in the garage there, bring in uh, some YouTubers, make video courses with them, bring in some models, take some awesome photos with them, um, plug certain products that I enjoy, do some product reviews, that'd be really awesome. So yeah, putting it out there, setting the intention, vocalizing it, and uh, We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what comes of it. We'll see what comes of it. I always like taking the most exciting action in the moment. So if for some reason I make the studio and I start cranking up videos and making photos, then decide, hey, I don't want to do it anymore. Maybe I want to go a different route, then I'll be happy to go a different route. I'm not afraid to change courses. Um, I think a lot of people, they get stuck in a course, they create like a, a public image for themselves and they don't want to change that. They can't divert it because they want to uphold this image that they've created. But I'm not afraid to do that. I've shifted a lot in the past. I went from doing you know, hardcore triathlon training like every single day to now not training triathlon at all. Instead, I'm working at the gym, lifting heavy weights, and um, went from doing like a lot of coaching, lifestyle coaching, personal training, to now just making videos. But um, I might even get back into some personal training. I might make some fitness videos for you guys in the future if you guys want some of that. Um, but whether you want it or not, it's okay. I'm going to make them anyway probably because I love fitness and I love making videos, so why not combine the two? Um, and yeah, we'll see uh you Rick, you getting some water, huh? We'll see what comes of it. But yeah, it's just a little life update video. Um, letting you know what I'm eating, everything I eat in a day. This is what I eat in a day. I'll have some apples, I'll have some bananas, I'll have some dates, I'll have some avocados, I'll have some, I'll have some persimmons, and I'll have uh, some walnuts and almonds and stuff like that. So that's it, guys. Also a couple of tomatoes. Mm. But yeah. And another thing I'm getting into, music making. I want to download Ableton Live. I just downloaded actually, I'm watching some tutorials on how to make music with Ableton Live. And then in the, in the tutorials, it's like, all right, so just go to your like library and drag in some like drum sounds, like the <coughs> some snares or whatever. And I go to click on the library and my library is empty in Ableton Live. So I tried to call up customer support to say, hey Ableton, why is my library empty? That's what I do, if I have a question, I don't know how to do something, I just call up customer support or ask somebody who does know. But uh, customer support's like, hey, we can't help you out because you're just on the free trial right now. So, sorry, no, no suerte para tu. No luck for you. Um, but I guess I'm going to go back to the drawing board, go on Google, say, hey, why is my library empty? Or just how can I get stuff into my library to start making music? I don't know how to do anything in life until I either try to do it or someone tells me how to do it. And I just keep doing stuff anyway, and so do you. Like, that's how we learn how to do things. We just, we don't know how to do pretty much anything until we at least try it ourselves for, a few, for the first few times, or we just ask someone how to do it. But that's an excuse a lot of people use. They say, I don't know how to do it, so therefore I won't do it. But how is that an excuse? Like, if you don't know how to do something, just ask somebody who does. Or just at least start it. Get, get the ball rolling, get some momentum happening. If you really want to do something, you'd do it. You'd already be starting. And if you're not starting anything, you're just being like lazy or you're like, or you're just like stuck, you're in a rut or whatever, it's because you haven't found something that you're really excited about taking action on. And I think maybe perhaps people are afraid to really do what they're genuinely excited about doing because they're afraid of what other people are going to think because it's outside of the norm. It's not that, it's not part of the image that they've been upholding for all the people around them. So if you uphold a certain image and people think that you're a certain way, well, maybe 
it would seem weird for you to create a studio or maybe it would seem weird for you to start making music or maybe it would seem weird for you to start like your own clothing line or maybe it would seem weird for you to start going to the gym and lifting heavy weights or something so people just they don't do it because it seems weird it seems out of character but if you're excited about taking action on something in life just go ahead and take action even if you have no clue about how to do it or even if you have no clue if you're going to stick to it or not just do it anyway just do it if you want. Just do it anyway if you want. It's better than being stuck in a rut. Life is better lived in motion. The best lives are the ones that are lived in motion. I think the best time to sit still and not do anything is when you're meditating or when you're practicing patience or whatever. But even then, it's practicing patience. Uh, sitting and meditating is the best practice of sitting and doing nothing. Because after you're done meditating, you you feel so good, your mind is so clear, you're filled with hopefully positive emotion. I know I always am after meditating. And you want to go take action, you want to go do something. So if you're finding you're not getting much done throughout the day, then perhaps, but you're still like going through the day, you're just mumbling around, perhaps you need to stop and meditate. And what that'll do for you is it'll like stop and you'll feel like you're being pulled back like an elastic band. Because you're sitting there not doing anything, all of a sudden you get out of meditation, you open your eyes, boom, you let go. You'll be off like a rocket. So if you're not getting much done through the day, but you're constantly like doing stuff all day long, but you don't feel like you're making much progress, just sit down and meditate for a minute. Just sit and meditate for a minute. If you feel like progressing for a minute, add a minute on each day. But start meditating for a minute if you haven't started already. If you want a great app to download, to get started with meditation, download the app called Headspace. That's the one that got me hooked on meditation. I use it every single day. I'm coming up on like, uh, 150 days of consistency with Headspace um, but according to the app I'm only on day like 87 or something because this summer I missed a day on the app because you know why I missed the day on the app this is so ironic so ironic I was on day like 48 or something this summer when I was in England of using Headspace every single day 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 48 and then I had to wake up and teach a meditation class at the UK Fruit Festival. So I woke up and I went for like this big walk just like to clear my head. It was my first time teaching meditation to a large group of people. And I uh, went to this walk, came back. I was like, okay, I know what I'm going to teach. I know what I'm going to do. So I went and gave the class, like 20, 30 people in the class, taught them how to meditate. And after the class, I was like, wow, that was amazing. It was a great class. And I went about my day and I went to sleep and woke up the next day and I checked my Headspace app and I was like, oh, you missed a day of meditating. And I'm like, no, I didn't miss a day. I just was so busy teaching meditation to other people. So, according to the app, I've only done like 87 days in a row, but I've definitely done closer to 150 days in a row. And uh, I can say without a doubt, without a doubt, meditating has changed my life and will continue to change my life far more than any amount of raw food has changed my life. Like, raw food is fantastic. Raw food is human food. If you eat any other food, there will be compromises. I think focusing on the fruit to the point where pretty much everything you're eating is fruit, is as far as you can take it, especially if you're eating local organic. If you focus on local organic, fresh, ripe, raw, juicy fruit, and you get to a point where you're eating fresh, raw, ripe, organic, juicy fruit for the majority of your calories, then you're pretty much as high as you're gonna go. You've reached the peak, you've reached the mountaintop. Awesome. You can only go so far with diet. But with meditation, that's when you start tapping into the infinite. That's when you start tapping into infinite consciousness. That's when you start realizing that there are infinite amounts of bliss that you can experience on a moment to moment basis if you choose to tap into them. If you choose to tap into a feeling of, of calm and peace and and prosperity and positivity you can do that you can tap into that you can always access these higher levels of consciousness and meditation teaches you just how to do that but you've got to practice meditating you've got to practice it is a practice and uh it's a very enjoyable one at that so if you're into raw foods and you're into fitness and you're into, into self-development and you haven't yet started meditating or maybe you're just starting to meditate then look into it more do some research i'll post a link in the description of this video to my all-time new favorite video um that relates to meditation it's a re really great video woke up the other morning and i rarely watch any youtube videos these days i'm just unless it's like a tutorial on how to do something but i woke up this one day and i did my meditation and then I went on YouTube and I just wanted to hear someone else's perspective on meditating because it's been it had been a while since I'd conversed with anyone about meditating. 
So I woke up to my meditation, watched a YouTube video on meditating, and it was like the best meditation YouTube video ever. So check it out down below. Highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Maybe the next video is going to be in my studio. That would be really, really cool to do an actual video with you guys there. Got the uh, first model coming over today to do a test shoot with me in there. It's actually Trev's sister, Casey. So if um, this video was not uploaded by the time I'm done with the shoot with her, then you might see uh, a couple pictures of her right here, of the final product. Please give this video a thumbs up if you watched all the way to the end. Really, really appreciate it. Much love from Canada, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.